Can the iPad really replace a laptop for music production? Let's see. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Brandon Rico again, back with another um, creative process. I just want to take the time out to thank everybody who watched the video last week. Um, I just announced on Instagram that I will be posting more often to my YouTube page. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, I just got a couple of new subscribers, so that let me know that the community is growing. I'm happy about that. Again, I just want to thank everybody for um, reaching out to me, whether that was on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I definitely appreciate the support. Today we're going to cook up a little bit and then um, see what happens. All right, so for some reason the session crashed, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it anyway. Um, after that, I'm gonna just go ahead and call it a night and then pick it back up um, sometime again tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, stay tuned. session crash on my iPad yesterday um, and I think I know what you're thinking why produced on the iPad when you got the whole laptop sitting here which kind of brings me to the topic of this video I don't know man it just seems like every time I want to do one of these videos uh, for YouTube something else always comes up or something something goes wrong or something goes crazy but I'm just keep going really it just comes down to practice i want to be able to practice being efficient making beats on the go so i have to learn my workflow on the ipad as much as i can what the ipad does for me is uh, gives me an opportunity to um, get my ideas out quick and easy while i'm away from my home studio lately i've been looking into making the two instances work together i've been using airdrop to send files back and forth but I've ran across this app called Studio Mux. And what Studio Mux does is it lets you send and receive audio and MIDI real time through the data cable that comes with, you know, like the charger that comes with your iPad or your iPhone. 
One of the biggest advantages for me in creating with an iPad is the mobility, you know, the port portability of it all. Um, it doesn't really take up that much space and um, it's really slim, lightweight, and really low key, very low profile. I can virtually create pretty much anywhere. Another advantage is just the convenience factor. Like I said, just being able to create anywhere, whether that be at my job, at home, out and about. I use this mug on the toilet a couple of times just to create, you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But another part of the uh, convenience factor is the accessories that come with it. There's nothing this thing can't do as far as audio recording, whether that be audio sampling, MIDI controllers, Bluetooth MIDI, it does it all very seamlessly and very simple process. For the iPad, there are certain things that are very easy to do on the iPad that I have either haven't found out how to do yet on that MacBook or it's just not that simple to do initially. And when it comes to making music, you just really want to be able to get your ideas out there as they come to you. And the iPad software, um, there are so many apps that allow me to do that and make my ideas come to life on the, on the fly, which helps with my workflow. Being a full-time dad, working a full-time job, you know, spending time with family, it's essential that I be able to have the most optimal workflow available to me, which the iPad provides. I'm able to start my ideas on my iPad, bring them home, and, and finish them up and give them that polished, more professional sound. I'm able to come up with some very competitive sounds when it comes to uh, industry quality work. So for the iPad, I use for pre-production, and for my MacBook, I use for post-production and um, bringing everything all in and solidifying the whole project. I think that the problem came with, and why the session crashed yesterday is because I might have been trying to do a little bit too much at one time on the iPad. I was running Studio Mux inside of, it's hard, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically I think I'm just gonna go back to my old workflow and um, just airdrop files back and forth. So again, you ask me, can the iPad replace a laptop for music production? Mm, yeah and no. I use both because that's what works for me. That's my workflow. There are a bunch of factors in, as to why people will want an iPad over a MacBook or a MacBook over an iPad. At the end of the day, you really have to do what works for you. I can take my iPad on the go much more easier pretty much create anywhere i can do that with the macbook i can do that with the macbook but it's a lot more clumsy and uh it's just it just feels like i'm doing too much but when i'm here in the studio the macbook is what i like to use let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions on how i can improve my workflow with the ipad integrated with the macbook pro what do you guys use are you using an ipad are you using a macbook pro what programs are you using Hit me up in the comments, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I gave somebody some type of insight or some type of something to leave with so that you can better tweak your workflow and um, create some more music. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I think I might be dropping a video every Wednesday or maybe Thursdays, I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, see you guys next week.